sending in its terrorists. Pakistan is now sending its second batch of infiltrators, this time led as a diplomats. But Pakistan's rabid national security advisor, Sartaz Aziz, will find it difficult to continue Pakistan's double games in the guise of diplomacy. Sources from the Heart of Asia conference, which Aziz is expected to attend in Amritsar in the first week of December, have told us here on NewsX that countering terror will be the top priority of all attendees. The draft of the counterterrorism strategy to be discussed at the meet provides practical and effective binding responsibilities, actions and solutions to address the menace of terrorism. In other words, if the strategy is adopted, it is expected to obligate Pakistan to act against terrorist groups operating from its soil that target Afghanistan as well as India. The war has to be the last option. What are the options open for us? War, surgical strikes, or dialogue. We should not have any sort of we don't have any situation where we don't have a dialogue with our neighbours. Uh, Mr. Aziz is is coming to Pakistan uh, to Amrits Amritsar. Let the agenda be fixed by our uh, national security advisor no no i don't agree with this kind of uh, stand uh, that because of all these uh, uh, developments uh, the diplomats and officials of different countries should be treated as untouchables no uh, the dialogues and talks should also go on soldier bhi lad rahe hain और सरकार ने कहा जो बैंक के लाइन में खड़े हैं वो भी सोल्जर है वो भी लड़ रहे हैं तो कौन किसके साथ लड़ाई कर रहा है और क्यों कर रहे हैं आप एक बार देख लीजिए पूरा देश आज एक लड़ाई में बिजे कोई रोजी रोटी के लिए है और जवान देश के लिए है जो हाई कमिश्नर यहाँ बैठा है ना पाकिस्तान का उसको पकड़ कर इस्लामाबाद के फ्लैट में बिठाओ वापस भेज दो यहाँ ताला लगाओ all right, we're looking at the pressure mounting from the ally themselves, where uh, Shiva Sena is concerned of the NDA, raising questions on why should Sartaz Aziz be allowed to come to India for the Heart of Asia conference at a time, of course, when these uh, dastardly terror strikes continue, which have claimed the lives of seven of our officers uh, from the army. Sartaz Aziz, the advisor to Pakistan Prime Minister, expected to land in the country in Amritsar for the Heart of Asia conference to discuss, of course, Afghanistan, but it is being said that terrorism will be the core agenda. Let's go across to my colleague, Madhav, joining us with further details. Madhav, two things we need to note here. One, will our polity really have time today to discuss, deliberate on the national security aspect after the Nagrota terror strike? And secondly, what is to be done with Sartaz Aziz's visit? Because there is pressure mounting in from within the NDA, where allies like the Shiv Sena continue to question why should we give this platform to Sartaz Aziz and Pakistan? Absolutely. Two very important questions that have been raised. And in fact, uh, I have with me our panel here. We have uh, Mr. KTS Tulsi, who's a member of parliament from the Raj Sabha, Sudesh Verma of the BJP, also with us, as well as uh, Priya Segal. I'll begin with you, Mr. Tulsi. Uh, we've seen yesterday the kind of twin terror strikes that have taken place in Nagrota. Do you think time is right that, you know, parliament should pay tribute because the heavy kind of casualties that we've suffered, seven uh, jawans, uh, seven uh, uh, soldiers, including uh, two officers who have been martyred, do you think uh, time is right? for all parties to perhaps come together and pay tribute to them. Yes, of course, I think pay, the tribute is a must. But what is even more important is that why are we not learning any lesson? Why is there so much laxity in the, in the army establishments if uh, that's the safest place that can be there in the country and here they come 60 kilometers inside our territory and attack again an army establishment, a core headquarter, field core headquarter. So, uh, does it not make the government w worried that uh, they should be a little more open about uh, the safety measures, whatever happened in Uri, what happened in Pathan Court? We don't seem to be learning any lessons. Right. Let me put that question across to BJP spokesperson, Mr. Pradesh Varma. Why are we lax is the question that is being posed by Mr. Tulsi. The, uh, in the past also, we've seen opposition come out and say that the BJP PDP government has been soft on terror, and that's where we're seeing heightened terror activity in the state. You see, the, what Mr. Tulsi is saying is an issue of concern for us as well. And an attack has happened, you know. 
we would also like to know why there was laxity. If there was at all laxity, we will have to establish through an inquiry. Uh, having said that, you know, you raised the issue about uh, pay, uh, you know, paying obituary to martyrs. These are the necessities that should be done before anything happens in Parliament. And we are all for it, and we hope that the opposition will listen to that. And so far as the tag is concerned, of course the government is aware of the situation. There is no question of, you know, because army has been given a free hand. Army knows how to deal with the situation in the best possible way. Why this happened, how this happened, we should wait for the situation to tell us. Right. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Tulsi, we've seen the opposition, you know, delaying the House on the issue of demonetization. Do you hope that the House will function today, at least on the case of this terror strike, and at least give enough time to pay homage to uh, those who are martyred? Well, they are always... Uh, the House has functioned for the purpose of uh, paying homage. There is no problem about that. Uh, but I don't know. It's really up to the parties. I, I am unattached. But I, root, I do think that uh, whether the House functions or not depends on the Prime Minister, if not the entire government. Because the, the demand is that the debate can take place only when the Prime Minister is present All right, because Madhav. they can raise concern to, concerns to him so that he can answer. He is the, the uh, policies uh, creator. He is the one who announced it to the country. All right, Madhav, I'm sorry so I'll have to interrupt our guests over there him. because we are running out of time but on this edition, but I'm going to request Madhav. you and all our panelists to stay with us. We will come back and we'll continue to discuss about Nagarota as well as what's expected to unfold in the parliament. But